Hello guys, welcome to the channel, Boxy Block Center. And uh, please, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like the video, subscribe as well. Liking the video helps out with the visibility of the of the channel, the platform. <sighs> I just finished watching this drive, Desoya versus uh, Dricus Duplessis. Um, it was a very interesting bout. Um, I Desoya, I think, through this fight. Yeah. Either Adesanya no longer has it, or Adesanya through this fight. Because there is no way to hold Adesanya, you know, who was clearly winning on the scorecard. I only gave Duplessis, I think, the uh, second round. Yeah. Because he did attempt to submit Adesanya uh, twice uh, and in the beginning Adesanya still had his, um, his strength and stamina and stuff like that so the places didn't couldn't find a way to do that but looking at the how Adesanya literally just gave up that fight like when you literally you win in the fight and then you just give it up. It doesn't really make sense, in my opinion. Congrats to the places, but he's not a generational fighter. He's not a fighter that is going to be on top for a long, long time. I don't see that. I see someone that can be easily beaten. The places also gasses out. I know that is one of the traits of him. Like, he gasses out early and still in the fight. Adesoya had this fight in the bag. Basically, it was it was supposed to be such an easy fight. I mean, easy, easy to call. But somehow, he just let it go. He got hit to the tempo by the places. Instead of keeping away from the places, moving around a little bit, the octagon a little bit, to try to recuperate his strength, he told Duplessis come fight. Knowing Duplessis would attempt for a takedown, and when he did that, Adesoya did not have the strength to weigh him off. Because when you are in such an intense, in such an intense fight like that, you do have to have some strength to weigh your opponent off. Adesoya didn't have that in round four because he had already exhausted his strength. Adesanya was doing a very fantastic job going to the body. I think that really hurt to places because it's like he was literally chopping him down step by step, little by little and stuff like that. It's a little bit um, unfortunate that Adesanya lost the fight in the manner in which he did uh, because this was a fight that he was literally winning comfortably, like comfortably because without a takedown to places cannot fight toe to toe with Adesanya he, he doesn't his striking game is very basic he you can literally see his punches from miles away Adesanya you know is very skillful remember Adesanya as a boxer yeah Adesanya is not he said he's not leaving the UFC that he doesn't want to give up at this point, if Adesanya knows that, yeah, he doesn't have the strength anymore to defend takedowns on later rounds like he used to, why not just switch to boxing? Or, you know, like boxing, I would say boxing, not kickboxing. Switch to boxing so you know nobody's going to take you down. You know, you stand there and trade and stuff like that. But maybe the age as well, because Adesanya is a former pro boxer and also from a kickboxer I will say this bro uh, Duplessis, congrats to him uh, I like the fact that both men um, you know put their trash talk aside and came together you know just hugged it out that's one of those things you have to Anderson is, is a 
is a paper like the guy is a pay per view star. Like he's an attraction. He's he's that you know, the way he speaks, the way he talks, how intelligent it is, you know, the story. Yeah. I wouldn't say this fight was personal because the trash talk was personal, but the fight itself was um yeah, it, it, they fought, they both fought with um, with the zeal to win, but not in the at the at the point uh, not with uh, uh, not with hatred um, attached to it. You know, it just we want to win this fight. We want to do this and stuff like that. So yeah man it's like i i waited all night for this fight you know i didn't sleep the, the way i normally sleep because I, I have to work uh you know early and then i'm like okay i i, I want to sacrifice my sacrifice some sleep towards this fight because i watched duplessis fights you know i've watched it and i see that the guy striking wise he will not be able to undo a desire but well, somehow I don't know why they suddenly just gave that gave it up and told him to like you know to fight. Yeah, fight. I mean, why did you give him the chance to take you down again? Because I just suddenly avoided that for a lot of a lot of times. You know, he avoided it. All of a sudden, he just give it away like that. You know, that's not uh, that wasn't. Yeah, that wasn't cool. It was just, it was just, it was just a disappointing performance from Adesanya. So, yeah, he himself would be kicking, in, he would be kicking himself like, damn, how did I, how could I give that away? Like, I'm winning the fight. He was winning comfortably. Like, basically, the Adesanya so, striking game is, is top notch. It's out of this world. You know, it's just give it, give it up like that. Nah, man, it's like, it's very frustrating for me. You know, um, uh, it's just, it's just not. What I, what Adesanya is all about, you know, either age is catching up or inactivity as well. You know, inactivity can also play a part. You know, in deciding, um, um, in the, in fights, uh, Adesanya has not been that active the way he should be. Um, and this was a fight that Adesanya could have easily won, and him shocking out Adesanya like it's crazy, like. But I think he tried it multiple times. Um, it just didn't work out until the Sonya got guy was basically gassed. And him being gassed, it was just one round left, bro, to get the job done. One round. There was just one round left to get the job done. And then he just fuck it up like that. And I was like, nah, man. I'm really, I'm really pissed. I'm really, no, I'm really pissed, not disappointed, because I'm pissed that you had, you were, cl you were close to getting the job done close to ah man it's just it's just not at the same light you know it really sucks in a way though so what's next for the same right now I don't know he's still a living legend he's still one of those guys that uh, changed the sport of MMA I don't know still one of the big names one thing I like about MMA is that at least you get it, you get, um, you get, um, you know, opportunities to fight, you know, and stuff like that. Again, it's not like in boxing, we, if you have a fight, one fight, it's finished. So, but we'll see what happens. It's going to be interesting to see how everything unfolds, how everything plays out. Damn man, I really wish that the Soyan like got the job done. I really wish, man, because I mean he had he he, he was he, he was it was just one round to go, just one round, one round, bro. He had one round to get it done, one round, and that really pisses me off. Damn. Ah, what's your guys take on this? like the video share subscribe give it a thumbs below are you disappointed like me or do you think the places did enough uh, to get the victory and then uh, the places what do you what what does the future hold for him the places is gonna be beat, beat. like 
and uh, Pereira. Pereira will beat the places, man. Uh, it would be, be too brutal. The first left two Pereira lands would be off. Like basically, Pereira is a is a is a beast. So I think the places should stay far away from Pereira because Pereira is a beast. It's just sad, man. That I just saw you I lost this fight and it had to end that way. Stay blessed. For more shows and bangers, like the video, share, subscribe, and um, God bless you all. Peace.